Hello YouTube, this is Darkon633, back with another Transformers review. Today we're going to take a look at the Transformers Powers of the Primes Legends Class Beachcomber. Now this is a figure that I've been highly anticipating for, since it's one of the few minibots that didn't really get any real updates since its original design. We did have that Classics Legends Class Beachcomber we got back, way back then. So it's really nice that we've actually seen an update to this character in its proper format ever since. Fortunately, he still doesn't have a weapon like the other Legends class releases, but I think he turned out pretty nice overall. Before anything else, we're going to take a look at the card first. The card is your typical Legends class figure. It has a picture of his Doom Buggy mode there. Once again, it just shows a promotion of his Robo mode, which is the same one we see up here. And shows that he transfers in seven steps and has a little buy on the back for him as well. Now, before anything else, we're actually going to take the quick comparison first. Here he is next to the Classics Beachcomber, which was the only real update we had for the character ever since, so it's nice that we actually got a properly scaled, minibot-styled Beachcomber in the Generations line. Articulation-wise, the head can swivel 360, although it's a little bit hard to get into, and I take that back. It actually can only go left and right about that much each. He does have ball joints at the shoulders with no hindrance, and it can go in and out there. He does have ball joints at the elbows, but no other articulation points there. It has no waist articulation, but he has ball joints on the hips, soles of the thighs, and more than 90 degrees for knee articulation. The only other thing that was concluded in the box is obviously the character card. The character card has a pretty nice artwork for Beachcomber there, and on the back it shows that I got the Alpha Trion version of Beachcomber there. So. Now we'll move on to the transformation. So to transform, what we're going to do is pull this entire component down, plug these together, but before then we pull this up, turn this around. Then what we're going to do, since we almost got it fully done already, we're going to plug this together, make sure that these connect properly too via this very small peg, so it looks like this. Then, what we're going to do is make sure that these plug up here and close up the arms, and that will finish him off into his Doom Buggy mode. And now that we got Beachcomber in his Doom Buggy mode, it's pretty cool actually, even though it's obviously a little bit bigger than what this kind of style of vehicle is if you compare it to the other deluxe style cars and so on. It does roll on really nicely with no problems with anything being hindered, and even the transformation is pretty clean and sleek with no problems with panel lining or anything, so that's really cool. You can open up this area so that you actually can fit in either a Prime Master or a Titan Master. Here we have Clobber, just for an example. We're going to let him sit inside the vehicle. It can be a little bit tricky to put one in due to the way that the little area is designed, but you do have the ability to actually do so. So you're trying to actually put them in though. So I think this pretty much gives you the idea of how a Titan Master will look inside. Obviously it's not the best place there, but you pretty much get the idea that it does have the ability to actually do so. As a comparison, here is the new Beachcomber next to the Classics version, which was definitely quite different than what you expect. Obviously this one is a little bit towards the correct scale that we've seen for a Doom Buggy, but it's still really cool what we got overall, and I think it's a fantastic update to a very interesting character. In conclusion, I think Hasbro did a fantastic job designing this particular version of Beachcomber, and it's really nice to see another G1 Minibot actually be released in the generation scale. We only actually have a few left to go, so it's nice that Hasbro and Takara has almost fully rounded out the Minibots, although there is a few that are questionable, such as the Cliff Jumper repaint or slight retool of the Bowie that they released already in this particular line. So it is weird that we haven't really seen that happen yet. But, at least we're pretty close to the overall Legend style or the Minibot style releases. I actually got this one from ToysRUs.com and it's been going in and out periodically throughout the last month or so. But, your best bet is to probably check it around at your local store because by the time this review goes up it should maybe be a little bit more open in stores. But overall, I'm really glad that we've seen a new Beachcomber released in general since he was actually one of the cooler Minibots in my opinion. Anyways. 
please come rate and subscribe and check out Hero Club and Hirotaku. Also check out my Twitter, Darkon633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen, and receive my content go up as soon as possible. And back with more Transformers reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye.